Okay, so this is the quickest way that I know how to make something isometric and I'm going to take this vector graphic here from Vect Easy and I want to put my logo on the screen. The quickest way I know how to do that, instead of using any complicated like isometric grid rulers or any annoying shearing and skewing here, the quickest way I know how is to select the logo, go Effect 3D, Extrude and Bevel, in these presets here under position, you go isometric and you've got left, right, top and bottom. For this one, I believe we're gonna need right. You can see what it's done here. It gives you a live preview if the preview button's checked here. Um, that's extruding it as well. I don't actually want that, so I can just make the extrude depth zero. And then you can see that this part of the logo that should be white has gone gray. And that's basically because of the shade in here. Um, you can like fiddle around with that, but the quickest way I find to do it, if you want to keep the colors exactly as they were on your flat artwork is just change the surface here to no shading. Press okay. And you will notice that the bounding box is still to your flat logo. Um, and that's because it's a live effect that can be edited within the appearance menu. So if you change your mind and you wanted to make it isometric left, you can do that. It's non-destructive way of working. And you can position that on the screen. We can scale it down. Let's get that looking central. Just doing this bit by eye. And that looks pretty good. And then when you're happy, if you did want to make the bounding box and the actual vector paths fit your new skewed isometric version, you can go object, expand appearance. And then when I go Apple or Command and Y, you will see that it has skewed the actual paths, uh, but it's then no longer editable in the appearance palette. Okay, so here's our finished product. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks.